Hello and welcome back to Gomer Play Zoda's Revenge Star Tropics 2. We'll just get right into it. Chapter 6. Last time we were in the Old West and... God damn, I hate the, the, just the trial and error aspect of it. You're just a visitor to Italy, yes? Have a nice time. A ciao. Well, at least I know where we are. We're in Italy. Hey, you kid. Need a map to the artist's homes? What you say? I got Raphael, Donatello, Michelangelo, Leonardo. Sorry, I'm a soul. I'm a out. I sold the last one to some big weird guy. Big weird guy. Oh shit. So, the last map was sold to some big weird guy. Oh shit, so do I. You look a familiar. You ever eat at Caesar's Hut Pizza? I'm at the Pizza Man. Oh, you're the one who decided to ride a goddamn Koopa Trooper to deliver to Cleopatra. An old scientist lives in our villa. If he can't help you, no one can. Uh. Oh, hey, lady. What's up? Can you tell me something? The old scientist in our villa is very inventive. The cellar is full of gadgets, like a big toy box. Sweet! I wanna go. I wanna go visit the cellar. Let's go. Let's go find it. Let's go find it. Let's go find it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Um, uh, if you talk to her, I think she gives you pasta. Let's see. You look so thin. Here, have a bigger plate of pasta. And if you restart the game from a save file, it, you'll get your hearts refilled. So that's what they're there for. <laughs> so oh, webbed feet. Leading out. Oh, god damn it, Zoda. I got the move! Get me out of here! Someone's inside the statue! Yep. Oh, god damn it, Zoda. Hey, they start you in a room. Ow! You asshole. I have to, now I have to go and pick that up. This one is a relatively short dungeon. Just to get through. But it can be very difficult if you're not... If you're... You know. Oh. Ow! I hardly ever get hit by those, but two and a half! Jeebus! Oh, yay! More platforming! Overhead platforming. Don't you love it? At least I could just diagonally walk across those. That's a good thing. Oop! Be it better be safe than sorry. Because it would be my luck. I try to get on there, and, it, and at the last second, it's like, whoops, psych! So, no. We're not going that route. I'm not playing your game. Um, game. Whoop! 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 That was close. Uh, and another one. Hey, do you want a medicine jar? I probably don't need it. So, this is one of those rare times I will actually forego it. Because the last few rooms, you don't really need a medicine jar. Because here's the gimmick. You hit one of these, they start going in the opposite direction. Observe. And your goal, as you saw, get them in there. You got two to, you got two to start with, and now you got what is it? One, two, three, four, five here. Ah, bit of a timing puzzle. Ow! Watch where I'm going. There we go. We got one. And it works with either weapon. I, 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 I prefer to use the Psychic Shockwave myself because it's a little faster. Oop, there we go. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, no. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. Get in the hole. Thank you. Whoa. Hi. Watch out there, big boy. There you go. Okay, now this should be the last one. There we go. Ah, and look at that, we're already at the end. <laughs> I didn't really need the medicine, did I? Wow, you've done it! Yay! Uh, ah. So what are we looking for down here? Well, somebody's trapped in a statue, so we get a chisel and hammer. Which, you know, makes sense. Gets them out of there. Chisel. Hammer! Hey! Is that Nash's hammer? No. <laughs> okay. Come out of here! Chip away with a hammer and chisel. T -t -t -t. Ow! <laughs> you gotta be careful. Oh, and there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, Leonardo da Vinci. Grassi, grassi. Thank you for releasing me, friend. I was just putting the finishing touches on my new masterpiece when a monster blasted me with liquid plaster. 
His name was, uh, Soda? Zoda, why? Sherlock was right. He asked me about a curious artifact I saw on an, a while... I saw a while in an old castle to the east. I read, I swear. The Tetrad! Cleo, you gotta help me get there! I have just at the thing. But first, tell me what you think of my new masterpiece. Say, I'm no art critic, but the hairstyle's a little... Old. You... You uncultured swine, Mike. Well, how about these? Of course! That's radical! Of course! Now hurry, an invention of mine will take you to where I saw the artifact. Take this weapon too. It's a souvenir of Marco Polo's from the Far East. You got a katana! A katana from the Renaissance, how about that? <laughs> oh god, and that hair! Why? Be careful and don't let Soda, er, Zodo Y breathe on you. That's a petrifying experience. Ah ha 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 ha! Pun. It's a flying machine! <laughs> Not first class, but it flies. Uh. Uh. Oh, hey, Micah. How you doing? Ah, I sense that you're flying. Micah, you wouldn't believe what's been going on. Tell her about the flying machine, Zoda. Aliens came to Sea Island, hypnotized Dr. J, and found out how to time slip. Oh shit. They're after the Tetrads, and they may be setting a trap for you. Be careful, Mike. We don't want to know what these evil beings are capable of. Uh-huh. Wait, disconnected? A trap, huh? Uh-huh. Oh, dear. So, possibly a trap. Well, this isn't the place. We'll have to go to another... We'll have to re-ride the thing again. But... We got a big heart. Which is good. Uh-huh. Ah, so here we go. Back to the flying machine. Yeah, riveting commentary, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, get ready for landing. Here's where we need to go. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a Renaissance era flying machine. Of course, it's not going to get there in one, tr in, 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 all in one go. Oh. Is this a dungeon? Well, yes it is. But it's not like your regu other regular dungeons. If you remember the parts from chapters 2 and 3 where you walk and you sometimes fall in, this is like that. Uh, it's basically a big maze. And there are some spots where you fall in and where you go, where you actually finish the dungeon dictates where you come out. Like, like say there's a branching... Well, there you go. Hi, how you doing? This is not a branching one, but that's okay. Ah. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. I don't remember this one before. Huh. This is new to me. But that's okay. At any rate, if you go out like a... I'll, I'll be able to show you... God damn it. Thank you. Let me out of here. Ah. Huh. Okay, anyway. Let's say there's a, let's say this branch right here. If I were to fall down here, there could be two particular pathways out. One would take me up here, the other one would take me here. That's basically all it is. There, I will run into a corner. Because of course I do. And now that I know what to do, I don't even have to worry about hit this fucker. Fuck you. Ah. So anyway. Uh, this might actually be one of them. Who knows? Let's see. Nope. It's not. Alright, that's good. It's been a while. I like to think I can remember how... Oh, fuck. Like, I can remember the maze path. The path through the maze here, but... We'll see. Hey! Whoop! Oh, you just get hearts. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, hey, hey, boys! Come play with me! I wanna play! I wanna play! I wanna play! Get you, you, you asshole! Get over here! Thank you. Thank you for playing with me. Uh, that's simple. A little Zoda spawn. Oof. You're squeaking wiki. Okay, this is how you know you're in the right direction if you're in here. Go up. Yeah. 
Damn it! I always do that. I, I keep thinking going up and over will get me out of here, but... Get me out of there, but... No, no. Oh, hello, Mr. Skull. How are you today? I am ready to... There you go. What's this? Oh, more hearts. Yeah, let's get them. Why not? <laughs> uh, and oh, hey, big beefy golem guys. Hi. They suddenly charge right ahead. Hi. I do not want to sit around and find out how much damage they do to me. Yeah, go this way. Ow. Okay, come on. Whew. That was good. Yeah. So okay. Now this is this is the branching path I was talking about earlier. You can go one of three directions. And I'm gonna go I think I need to go to the north. Just make it to the exit. Ignore these you know, like Bionic Commando, ignore all dangers. <laughs> ah! There we go. And there you are. I know there's got to be at least one more, and it's... Uh... Oh, hey! Found it! Ah, fuck! And this is it. This is the... This is the uh, lengthiest and mini dungeon in this area. Hey! Aww. I got nothing. Oh, wait, what's this? Go in here. Ooh. I think these guys shoot at me. I'm not sure. Oh, I could have had a medicine. That's okay. Those skulls will shoot at me. Yeah. Go away. Alrighty. And back down we go. Hey, how you doing, dude? Oh, hey, sweet. And this should lead us back here. There we go. Thank you. First do that. Hey, free medicine. Next. This guy. Okay. Ow. Ow, motherfucker. Ow, ow, ow. Get out of my way. Ah. Little shit stains. Come here. Oh, he's so... Ow! Motherfuck! Alright. Fuck that noise. There. Grrr. And... Oh. What? What? Oh, shit. Uh, just appear out of nowhere. Sure. That helps. Uh, there we go. <laughs> and the first appearance of the Zodasaur. We'll see a few more of these throughout the rest of the game, but... I always thought that was it was an interesting take. Zodasaur. <laughs> oh, but that's it for this. Wow. Uh, ah, goddammit. Uh, ah! No. God damn it. You know what? There's a medicine jar up this way. Come here. Come here. Eh. Eh. Nothing happens, of course. Blink. Hey! Mm. Fuckers. Need <laughs> do. Do, 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 do. Get. You. Hey! Hey, asshole! Get off of me! Personal space! I'm trying to. Wow. The pixel precision. Holy shit. What the fuck was that? Urgh. Okay. Let's go through. Yada, yada, yada. Hello, Mr. Skull. How are you? I'm taking care of you first, especially since you have a heart. Whew. Yeah. 
No. No. One is the loneliest number that you'll ever do. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, no you don't. No. Denied. I'm denying you. Deny, deny, deny. Denying you, denying you three times. Although you're not Jesus. Thankfully. That would be just horrible. Uh. But then again, you know what? You know what? I wonder. I wonder if there's like any like game that has made Jesus an enemy, like an actual enemy. You know, with with like enemy AI and everything. Do you think he would be a boss, or do you think he'd be like maybe a final boss or something? I don't know. I mean, what if you fought him in Bayonetta? Because isn't it isn't her whole uh, thing like fighting the angels or something? Ow. So, like, it would stand to reason that maybe Jesus would be a boss in Bayonetta? Maybe? I don't know. I, I don't know what I'm... I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> or maybe I do. I don't know. But, uh, it's a weird thought. Ah, get out of my way. Move. Thank you. Oh! Oh! Now I have my Super Psychic Shockwave back. Okay. Are we done? Yes! God damn! Got a Tetrad! Yay! Oh! It's a trap! Wait, what? What? Uh oh! It could be a trap. Shit! I don't. I, I, I don't know about this, Mikey. I don't know about this, Mikey. Oh shit! Hi! Well, that's freaky looking. Not so fast, human. It's Zoda Y. I've learned now not to send a henchman on an errand that requires my own touch. You'll not get away so easily where I'm about to send you. Go. Go to the land where a count stalks his victims by the light of the moon. <laughs> oh, you get a look at his true form. Look at that. It looks so cool. Yeah. Oh, so we're flung through time of, of, you know, not of our own volition this time. God damn it, Zoto Y. Fuck you, Zoto Y. Fuck you. Where are we? You decide to look around, but that's going to happen next time. <laughs> so, yeah, that was chapter six. Interesting chapter. Definitely, definitely the, the hidden mini dungeon chapter of the game. You know, but uh, but you know, I I I generally do enjoy that one, uh, just because of the mini dungeon nature. You know, dungeons don't take so long. You don't have to worry about this or that or the other. It's 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 generally it's generally fun for me. Uh, but wow, but wow, can it be a pain in the ass? <laughs> oh, and the next one, just one dungeon, one big dungeon in this next chapter. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. At any rate. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. If you like it, you can do the usual. Subscribe, like, comment, share it with your friends. Don't don't just hoard it like the cheeseburger at a Waffle House, you know? You know, share it around if you like it. Let other people enjoy it. Um, and if you want to help support these, sh these videos and my shows and everything more directly, then head over to patreon.com slash gomer21xx. And for $1 per production, you get access to all of the videos before everybody else. Um, and, and these tend to go up in batches, so it's not like you just get one at a time. You'll get like, like three or four or five videos at once before they go up because I have, you know, I have my schedule to keep up with after all. Um, but you know, you guys will get to see them first and then I can set up everything else automated and it makes it a lot easier and, and it works out for you guys too. So, <laughs> so that's all, uh, that's all great, but that's at patreon.com slash gomer 21 double X. And if you're watching this and you came over here from the D-pad, hi! How you guys doing? <laughs> oh, those guys are awesome. And, um, 
And so, uh, let's see. Oh, right. And she is not doing the title card for this one, but I am giving a shout out to my girlfriend and title card artist, Becky Hopkins, who, uh, if you watch my DuckTales video or if you see the uh, title card I actually put up, I had uh, Rick put up in the uh, Mega Man Soccer series on the D-pad, uh, th that's her work. Uh, you can find more of her work at beckhop.deviantart.com. And, of course, you can also commission her at patreon.com slash beckyhop. And I did forget to mention last time, she does have a webcomic going, uh, Otherworldly, which the link is down below in the doobly-doo, because, uh, you know, I have not memorized the fuck out of that yet for some reason. Uh, but uh, it's, it's all down there. Check it out. You'll like it. You'll enjoy it. And uh, it's very fantasy-based. I, I, like, I like that. I like that. Um, so at any way, at any rate, thank you guys for watching, and until next time, this is Gomer the Ranting Thespian, signing off.